How about an easy, beautiful, and stylish way to snazz up your house for a little holiday gathering? You know, there's just something about having fresh flowers in the house. It's one of the most beautiful ways to bring nature closer to you. Now, this is one of my favorite arrangements, if you want to call it an arrangement. It's like the simplest thing in the world. You see, just three stems of flowers, they drop right into these long test tubes that are supported by this wire structure. They literally arrange themselves. What could be simpler? This is Alstroemeria or Peruvian lily. This plant or flower lasts a long time as a cut flower. So, all right, this works great in a bedroom. It's an easy way to have fresh flowers around you all the time. But what about something a little more elaborate, something that would work beautifully in the fall, maybe as a little bouquet for a table setting. Maybe you're having a holiday party. Let me show you some ideas from flowers that you can pick up right at the grocery store. Come on. So just take a look at this. It's beautiful, isn't it? It looks like a garden itself. How festive is this? I mean, it's perfect for, well, like I mentioned, like a holiday party for Thanksgiving or just to celebrate the fall. Now there's quite a bit of variety here, but I just want to walk you through really how simple it is. You see it's about coordinating colors and contrasting textures. So I'm just gonna set this aside. We'll come back to it in just a moment. What I've tried to do here is associate blooms and fruit and foliage with big open flowers and little tiny ones for contrast. That's so important. And also you wanna make sure that it's sort of hanging with a, a color theme. So if you've got a color in the room that you wanna play off of, maybe it's orange, maybe it's red if you're following this particular color pattern, or maybe it's a tablecloth you're using, or maybe the napkins if you're setting a table. Just think about it in those terms. Okay, so what I like to do here is I like to just take flowers, like roses to start with, and what I'll do is I'll just build this bouquet, and I want it to look like it just came out of a garden. So I'm just clipping these off, at about the height that I need to come out of this vase. You see, I love this little vase because it's basically wicker that wraps a glass jar or vessel. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make this arrangement about this tall, so I'll need to cut these down. So this is sort of my indicator flowers, so I'll know roughly what size I need for these to be. You see, they're not going to hang out any further than that. And I'll strip off some of the leaves because I don't like leaves down in the water. That's a no-no because what that does is it, well, it builds up bacteria in the water. The flowers then don't last as long and that's not very good at all. So I'm starting with some big floppy flowers here. Then I'm gonna mix it with some others that I've already cut off at this height, you can see here. So I'm using just some basic chrysanthemums. And I'm just pulling those around like this. And I just kind of go round robin all the way around and I mix in some alstroemerias like this, that Peruvian lily that we saw in the single vases earlier, three of those. And then for some foliage, this protea is beautiful. And look at the burgundy color here, which echoes the color of the chrysanthemum. Having some of these color echoes is really nice. We have two other plants to include, or actually three but one of them is a category that I think is often overlooked, and that's the use of fruit and berries. These are hypericum berries. You can see they have a lovely soft sort of salmon color. So I'm placing those around the sides. And even some rose hips, look at the colors there. You can see how all these colors really sing together. Again, just keeping it tight, you can see how I'm holding it here with my hands. And in fact, some of these are getting a little long on the edge. I'll just take and clip those off like that. A Couple more flowers to include. Just look at the bright, cheerful color of this safflower. And what they do is they pick up an echo, look how bright they are, the throats of the alstroemeria. So if you look into this alstroemeria here, you can see that this same really hot orange can be found there. These color echoes that go on in an arrangement like this really help create a sense of harmony. Now for some of the larger flowers, these are just simple Asiatic lilies Look at the big buds on them. I could have started with those in the center, but I chose to start with the roses. I can add some more. You see how it's all coming together here? And then just for a little fun and to shake it up a little bit, I love these Chinese lanterns. I'm just gonna tuck some of these in just for some height. 
and a little irregularity, so it feels like it's come right out of the garden. A couple more of them here and here. And I've got a few extra roses, and there you have it. Now, isn't that a beautiful and abundant bouquet? I'm just gonna trim off the bottom. I'm gonna make sure that any of these extra leaves are pulled off so that they don't end up in the water, like that. And then I just hold it together tightly like this. I could put a rubber band around it, but in this case, I'm just gonna drop the arrangement in. Just gonna be very careful so it doesn't fall apart. Look how it all holds together. Now, one thing I like to do is work around the edge and make sure that any straight horizontal lines are broken, meaning if I see the edge of this container, I don't really want to see that. I want to see flowers hanging over the edge and breaking the edge visually. So I have a few extras here. I can pop a rose in there that helps break it, you see? Or even maybe one of these alstrom areas, or I could pull something from the arrangement and just gently sort of pull it down where that edge is broken. And there you have it a beautiful holiday bouquet. And the great thing about it is these flowers you can pick up like at the grocery store. If you're enjoying these tips, tell a friend about them and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home and have a great holiday.